I think the one thing that most of the ESPA projects are trying to understand is to look at how nature can actually alleviate poverty and also promote well-being. ASPA deals with very uh, comprehensive uh, issues uh, related to various sorts of ecosystem services, including water, biodiversity, forestry, and it covers various geographical regions from mountains to deltas. It's a groundbreaking research program which, uh, which expands across the, uh, across the globe. ESPA is uh, very important uh, because it allowed uh, us to uh, work with the communities in order to understand the importance they attach to natural resources. And in Malawi specifically, we're looking at uh, uh, how do the ecosystem services affect their food security, health and nutritional uh, status, as well as uh, their income. ESPAD has given me insight into what communities value from the ecosystem, and including uh, gender disaggregated information. This bottom-up approach will inform policymakers in Ethiopia on community needs. We worked under a couple of ESPA projects, um, understanding um, diverse range of ecosystem services. But after the ESPA research, um, we lobbied for recognizing those diverse services and uh, uh, providing communities the opportunity to manage a range of ecosystem services so that they can benefit from those. Africa is one of the uh, continents uh, which faced many uh, challenges in terms of natural resources management and in terms of conservation. So it is good to have this kind of project in, in Africa. Well, ESPA is uh, very important for Africa uh, in the context of using research findings related to natural capital, the natural environment, to be able to use those assets for poverty reduction programming, but also for overall national economic development. Well, it's important that uh, these lessons um, are integrated into policy uh, and that policy is implemented so that we have meaningful impact on the ground in sub-Saharan Africa.